Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. Normally, I only go back as far as 1700, but it seems fitting today to point out that on this day, in the year 269, St. Valentine passes away. In 1711, Handel's opera Ronaldo premieres. In 1724, King Philip V of Spain abdicates the throne. In 1747, British astronomer James Bradley presents his discovery of the wobbling motion of the Earth on its axis. In 1760, Richard Allen, founder of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, was born in Philadelphia. In 1761, British troops occupy Fort Michilimackinac in Michigan. In 1778, the U.S. Stars and Stripes makes its first appearance at a foreign port, flying aboard the Ranger as the ship arrives in France. In 1779, explorer James Cook is killed by native Hawaiians on the island of Hawaii. In 1794, the first U.S. textile machinery is patented by James Davenport of Philadelphia. In 1803, the apple pearer is patented by Moses Coates of Pennsylvania. Also in 1803, Chief Justice John Marshall of the U.S. Supreme Court rules that any act of Congress which conflicts with the Constitution is null and void. In 1818, American author and activist Frederick Douglass is born. In 1835, the original Quorum of the Twelve Apostles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is formed in Kirtland, Ohio. In 1844, John C. Fremont becomes the first European to discover Lake Tahoe. I'm sure the native people already knew it was there. In 1848, James K. Polk became the first president photographed in office. In 1852, the Great Ormond Street Hospital for Sick Children, the first hospital providing inpatient beds specifically for children, is founded in London. In 1859, Oregon becomes the 33rd state admitted to the Union. In 1862, the Galena, the first U.S. ironclad warship, is launched. In 1867, Morehouse College organizes in Atlanta, Georgia. In 1870, Esther Morris is appointed the first U.S. female Justice of the Peace in South Pass City, Wyoming. The office was vacant because her predecessor resigned to protest passage of the law giving women the right to vote in Wyoming Territory. I bet he felt really stupid. In 1872, the first state bird refuge in the U.S. is authorized in Lake Merritt, California. In 1876, the telephone is patented. In 1887, baseball's Chicago Cubs sell Mike King Kelly to Boston for a record $10,000, or about $300,000 in 2022 money. In 1889, the first ever train load of oranges leaves Los Angeles for the East Coast. In 1891, William Tecumseh Sherman, Union Civil War General, dies at 71. In 1894, American funny man Jack Benny is born. Also in 1894, the planet Venus is both a morning star and an evening star. In 1895, Oscar Wilde's play, The Importance of Being Earnest, opens in London. In 1899, President McKinley signs a bill making mechanical voting machines legal in the United States. In 1903, the U.S. Department of Commerce and Labor is established. In 1907, an earthquake in Kingston, Jamaica kills more than 1,000 people. Also in 1907, the first U.S. Foxhound Association is formed in New York City. In 1912, Arizona is admitted to the Union, becoming the 48th state. In 1918, according to the Julian calendar they were using, the Soviet Union adopts the Gregorian calendar today. In 1919, the United Parcel Service begins business. In 1920, Carrie Chapman Catt formed the League of Women Voters in Chicago. In 1924, the IBM Corporation is founded by Thomas Watson. In 1927, Con Smythe takes over the Toronto St. Patrick's team and renames them the Maple Leafs. In 1929, seven rivals of mobster Al Capone are murdered in a Chicago garage, which is now remembered as the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. In 1931, the original Dracula film starring Bela Lugosi is released. In 1932, the George Burns and Gracie Allen show debuts on CBS radio, airing there until 1937, then moving to NBC until 1949, and then returning to CBS, and then they moved to television. 
Say goodnight, Gracie. In 1936, the National Negro Congress organizes in Chicago. In 1939, Victor Fleming replaces George Cukor as director of Gone with the Wind. In 1941, the one millionth vehicle travels through the New York Midtown Tunnel. In 1943, Franklin D. Roosevelt becomes the first president of the United States to travel by airplane while in office when he travels from Miami to Morocco to meet with Winston Churchill. In 1945, the eighth Air Force bombs Dresden, Germany on this the second day of bombing. Also in 1945, Chile, Ecuador, Paraguay, and Peru join the United Nations. In 1946, the Bank of England goes public. Also in 1946, the first general-purpose, high-speed, electronic, digital computer, the ENIAC, was first demonstrated to the public. In 1949, the Parliament of Israel, called the Knesset, convenes for the first time. In 1950, the first prototype of Russia's MiG-17 fighter plane makes its maiden voyage. In 1951, Sugar Ray Robinson defeats Jake LaMotta and takes boxing's middleweight title. In 1952, the sixth Winter Olympics Games opens in Oslo, Norway. In 1954, the Hudson Motor Car Company merges with Nash Kelvinator Corporation, forming the American Motors Corporation, later to be part of Chrysler. Also in 1954, Senator John F. Kennedy appears on TV's Meet the Press. In 1956, Russian leader Khrushchev denounces Stalin at the USSR Communist Party Conference. I bet he made some enemies that day. In 1957, the Senate of the state of Georgia unanimously approves a bill barring blacks from playing baseball with whites. In 1959, law enforcement officials seized $3.6 million worth of heroin in New York. It would be worth about $36 million today. In 1961, Laurentium Element 103 is first produced in Berkeley, California. In 1962, First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy conducts a tour of the White House on TV. In 1963, the first successful kidney transplant occurs today. In 1965, the seventh Daytona 500 is raced. In 1967, Aretha Franklin records her iconic tune, Respect. In 1969, an accidental explosion aboard the USS Enterprise near Hawaii kills 27 people. In 1971, the movie Ben-Hur is first shown on television. Also in 1971, Richard Nixon installs a secret taping system in the U.S. White House. In 1971 as well, the 13th Daytona 500 is run. Richard Petty wins his third Great American Race. In 1972, Queen Margrethe II of Denmark ascends the throne. She is the first Queen of Denmark since 1412 and is the first Danish monarch not named Frederick or Christian since 1513. Also in 1972, John Lennon and Yoko Ono co-host The Mike Douglas Show for the entire week. In 1975, Leslie Whittle is kidnapped by Donald Nielsen also known as the Black Panther. In 1978, the first micro on a chip is patented by Texas Instruments. In 1980, West Side Story opens at Minskoff Theater in New York City for 341 performances. Also in 1980, and also in New York, the 13th Winter Olympics open in Lake Placid. In 1984, singer Elton John marries Renata Blau in Sydney, Australia. In 1985, CNN reporter Jeremy Levine, who is being held hostage, is released in Beirut. Also in 1985, Whitney Houston's debut album is released. In 1989, Union Carbide finally agrees to pay damages to the Indian government for the Bhopal disaster. Also in 1989, Robin Givens is granted a divorce from boxer Mike Tyson. In 1990, an Indian Airlines jet crashes while landing, killing 94 passengers and crew. Also in 1990, Perrier recalls 160 million bottles of sparkling water after traces of the carcinogen benzene is detected in some of them. Also worth noting in 1990, the space probe Voyager 1 takes a photograph of the entire solar system. In 1991, an air raid shelter in Baghdad is bombed, killing 300 people who thought they were sheltered. Also in 1991, the psychological thriller The Silence of the Lambs was released in American theaters. It went on to win five Academy Awards. In 1992, 
The movie Wayne's World, starring Mike Myers and Dana Carvey, premieres. In 1998, an oil tanker train collides with a freight train in Cameroon spilling fuel oil. While scavenging the oil, a man drops a lit cigarette. You guessed it, 120 people die. In 1999, Toronto Mayor Mel Lastman becomes the first mayor in Canadian history to call in the army to help with emergency medical evacuations and snow removal after more than one meter of snow paralyzes the city. In 2000, a United Nations tribunal sentences five Bosnian Croats to prison for up to 25 years for the 1993 killing of over 100 Muslims in a Bosnian village. Also in 2000, the spacecraft near Shoemaker enters orbit around the asteroid 433 Eros, becoming the first spacecraft to orbit an asteroid. In 2003, Dolly the Sheep, who was the first mammal to be cloned from an adult, dies from a progressive lung disease at age six. In 2004, the national flag of the country of Georgia is restored to official use after a hiatus of 500 years. In 2005, a massive suicide bomb blast in central Beirut killed Lebanon's former prime minister and at least 15 other people, while another 135 people were hurt. Also in 2005, YouTube is officially registered as a website. It becomes hugely popular with over 1 billion visitors per month. In 2008, a gunman opened fire in a lecture hall of the Northern Illinois University, resulting in six fatalities and 18 injuries. In 2010, Yemen declares an open war against the terrorist group Al-Qaeda. In 2011, the president of Tunisia fled his country after a series of street demonstrations against his regime occurred, demanding freedom, rights, and democracy. In 2018, ex-student Nicholas Cruz guns down 17 people at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida before being captured. Also on this day in 2018, American snowboarder Sean White wins an unprecedented third halfpipe gold medal at the Winter Olympics. He did not win this year. In 2019, Amazon cancels its plans to build a corporate campus in Long Island, Queens, New York. Also in 2019, Colombian Juan Carlos Sanchez Latore is jailed for sexual abuse of 276 children. And another in 2019, singer Ryan Adams is accused of sexual misconduct towards younger upcoming female singers in a report by the New York Times. And lastly, in 2021, at least 60 people are killed and hundreds are missing after a boat carrying 700 people capsizes on the Congo River. It's Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a wonderful day you and your significant other. Talk to you tomorrow.